Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, dear Kingdom Kids. Welcome to our Advent edition. As you can see, three candles are lit. Let's hear what our Advent wreath has to say to that. Good morning, Mrs. Advent wreath. How are you doing this morning? So, how do you feel about three candles being lit today? To be honest, I don't hear a thing. Well, kids, but as you can see, three candles are lit. For the first time, more candles are lit than not. That means we are getting closer to Christmas. And with that joy in our mind, because the third candle means Gaudete, which means rejoice with that joy in our minds. Let's sing the first song. One, two, three, four. My God's the king of the giants. My God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the deep. My God's the king of me. Have you heard the story about my friend King Day? Wouldn't let the giant stand in his way. He said, hey, my sling, cause he's not that tall. My God is bigger and I'll watch him fall. My God's the king of the giants. My God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the day. My God's the king of me. Have you heard the story about my friend King Day? Let the giant stand in his way. He said, Hand me my sling, cause he's not that tall. My God is big and I'll watch him fall. My God is king of the giants. My God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the deep. My God's the king of me. My God's the king of the giants. My God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the deep. My God's the king of me. Advent means we prepare for Christmas. Just like Mary and Joseph prepared. I mean, often we think Mary was all of a sudden very pregnant and Jesus was coming, so they just ran off to Bethlehem to get Jesus delivered. But no, Mary and Joseph prepared themselves for the arrival of Jesus, as we do during Advent. And I wonder what might have Joseph thought during his preparations. I like to think that he might have thought of the letter God shared with Isaiah. The letter we, which we started reading last week. And I want to look what this letter reveals to us today. And maybe with Joseph, we discover something new. Operation No More Tears, part two. This is the second part of the message God gave Isaiah. He will be like a king, but he won't live in a palace. And he won't have lots of money. He will be poor. He will be a hero and he will rescue from our enemies. But he won't have big armies and he won't fight with swords. He will make the blind see. He will make the lame leap like deer. And he will make everything the way it was always meant to be. But people will hate him and they won't listen to him. He will be like a lamb brought to slaughter. He will suffer and die. This is the secret rescue plan. This is the secret rescue plan made from before the beginning of the world. It's the only way to be with you. But he won't stay dead. I will make him alive again. And one day, when he comes back to rule forever, the mountains and the trees will dance and sing for joy. The earth will shout out loud. His fame will fill the whole earth. Yes, the rescuer will come 
Look for him, watch for him, wait for him. He will come. I promise. That seems a little bit of a weird letter God is writing Isaiah. On the one hand, he tells him he's like a king. And then he reverses his promise. But he's not going to be like the king you expect him to be. Then he says he's going to be a great helper, a doctor who knows what you need. But he will be hated. How does that fit together? He will fight, but not the way we expect him to fight, not with swords and not with fists, but in new ways. You might be wondering what all this means. Well, for now, we definitely know that this child we are preparing for is nothing like we expect him to be. He will rule in a way, he will live in relationship with people in a way that will be different and new. And most important, he is our key figure in God's rescue plan. And this is how Christmas connects with Easter. You can't think the one without the other. But this is another story which we are going to look at very soon. This is another part of God's story. And you might remember that we are looking for ways and cues how we are part of God's thread, of God's biggest storyline. Well, in Advent, everything is about actually exactly that. Preparing for Christmas. Preparing means that you become a very part of the story itself. That the story means something to you already. Or maybe that you're curious how the story means something for you. In Advent, we are all invited to prepare to make on our way, to get on our way, and to await these new days where it says, the mountains and the trees will dance and sing for joy. The earth will shout out loud, his fame will fill the whole world. Well. One tree is shouting out a very special day already, which is his coming. And these, and this wreath as well, invites us to be and become a part of God's story. So, with the third candle lit let us rejoice 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 god with us is coming
thy sight. In ancient times didst give the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O O oh, come, thou rod of Jesse, free thine own from Satan's tyranny. From depths of hell thy people save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Let's pray. Abba, rejoice. This message, the third candle calls out to us. Rejoice. Be joyful. And I thank you for this. And I thank you how this candle, this Advent wreath, reminds us of the joy and I thank you that you just don't fit in you are just nothing like what people or what we expect you to be and I pray that you would open our eyes this Advent season for how different you are and that this would touch and change our lives and I invite you to pray together with me now our Father who is in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for yours is the kingdom, and the glory and the power forever. Amen. Well, in our Kingdom Kids chat, we usually start with a game, Go and Bring Me. Now I would like to invite all of you to go and bring me something that brings you joy. Fitting to the third of Advent, rejoice. Go and bring me something that bring you that brings you joy. And why don't you share it with us and tell us in the chat what you brought. And talk in your family, why did you choose that? You have one minute to get and bring something that brings you joy. Ready, set, go!
I got my ukulele. That brings me joy. You know all, I like to play music. I could also have brought my violin, but that was just too much of the effort, so I stuck to my ukulele. The ukulele brings me joy because I love listening to music, I love making music, and I love singing, not just under the shower. And while I was thinking, I was reminded of a quote, a quote by not Walt Disney, but by Walt Whitman. He said, what is music, but what awakens you when you listen to the instrument? And Jesus is the music of the reality of God. And faith is what awakens when we hearken. Faith is what awakens when we hearken. I think that's really beautiful. Jesus is the music that we hear from God. And faith is what awakens when we hearken. That brings me great joy. So, and let's hearken together as we sing together. Hark the herald angels sing. At the end of this service, I would like to read a prayer. You may close your eyes, you may just listen, and I will end by saying a blessing. Holy Spirit, guide the choices we make throughout this week. Help us endure hardship. Remind us to be patient. Stifle our tendency to complain. Help us realize how much we owe the Creator for all we have and all we are. Father in heaven, we offer thanks 
to you for sending John the Baptist to prepare the way for the coming of Jesus, our rescuer. Help us to heed his message. Come, Lord Jesus. So often we are impatient for your coming, wanting to be Christmas. Come and ease our anxiety. Come and reward our patience. Come and remove our sorrow. Come and comfort us. And may the Lord Creator bless you with abundant joy this next week. And ears and a heart that hearkens, that listens to the music called Jesus. Amen. I wish you a good week, a blessed Sunday, and do join us for our King and Kids chat at 1.30 p.m. today. This is going to be the last one for this year. And definitely join us next week as we come together to celebrate and to have a blast with the digital nativity story that all of the families and children have prepared. Well, and I think... I'm going back to chatting to my admin priest here. Yeah? Good. Bye.